Hello everyone! As you can see today I look quite good, quite fancy because today I'm here to give you a recommendation. I'm here to convince you to read things that I like and therefore I realized that I should look presentable although I look like a teenager who just got out of prom. Also, I bought this tie and I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, let's get started with the video. The thing is, with all the Heartstopper fever I was reminded of the times where I had just finished Heartstopper and I didn't know what to do with my life. So. After finishing it, I started reading every book, graphic novel, comic, manga, whatever that had the same vibe and gave me the same sort of emotions that Heartstopper did. Therefore, I collected a lot of really good recommendations. So today, I brought you 5 books that I recommend you read if you like Heartstopper. I know. So original. The first sort of books that I want to recommend you are, of course, Alice Osman's books. I know I've been talking about Alice Osman books for so long. Now, if you don't know that these books exist and you just finished reading the graphic novel and you're kind of new to the whole universe, I will recommend you read these next four books because they talk about different characters in Heartstopper and I think you will like them because they're all written by the same author of Heartstopper. So first, Solitaire. I've made a video about this so I won't get much into it, but basically it tells the story of Tori Spring, Charlie's sister. Yeah, her struggles with life and her relationship with Charlie, her family and so. If you think that Tori is an interesting character and you want to get to know more about her, Nick and Charlie appear more than once and there are some things that happen in volume 4 that are explained better in this book so if you want I recommend you read that. The second one will be Nick and Charlie. This book was written before the graphic novels were released and it's a spin-off to Solitaire. It is a really short book that narrates the story of Nick and Charlie a few years after both Solitaire and Heartstopper. So basically in this book Nick is about to leave for college, he's in his last year of high school and Charlie will stay behind one year because he's a year younger than Nick. So they're having some troubles trying to figure out how they will be long distance, if it's going to work or not and yeah that's basically like the main story of the book. I really recommend this book if you want to get to know more about Nick and Charlie's future, their lives together, the things that happen after both volume 4 and solitaire. I will say this is not one of my favorite books, I actually have some problems with it, but if you want me to talk about this book I will be pleased to make a video about it, let me know. Our third book of this section will be This Winter. This is another spin-off to the books that I've mentioned. It's a really short story that narrates the events that happened the Christmas before solitaire started and is kind of in the middle of volume 4. So yeah, this is also a really good book to get to know more about Charlie's relationship relationship with his family, with Nick, what has been going on. It's really short, I think you can finish it in less than one day, so it's an interesting book to get to know more about this story. And last but not least, Radio Silence. So I did finish Radio Silence, I finished it last week and I'm planning on doing a much more elaborate video about this book because I really liked it. So I won't be getting into the book so much, but basically if you want to know more about other characters that appear in Heartstopper, such as Aled, this is a perfect book to do so because Aled is one of the main characters of the story. It's an excellent book if you want to get to know about Aled's life and his struggles with all kinds of things, all his secrets. I really really think you should read this book. Now the fun begins. The next books that I will mention are not related to the Osman verse. So yeah, we start with Mooncakes by Susan Walker and Wendy Sue. This is a story about our main character Nova. She is a teenage witch who knows a lot about magic and she spends her days helping her grandmothers with their bookshop, casting spells and you know, witchy stuff. But one good day she decides to track down a mysterious white wolf that everyone has been talking about, only to discover that this wolf is actually her childhood crush, Sam Land, who by the way is non-binary. Throughout the book we will get to know more about Tam's past, why they left their hometown, they and Nova will try to find a way to defeat this horse demon, as well as figuring out their feelings for each other after all the years they spend apart. This is a beautiful graphic novel, the art was amazing, I really liked it. You have magic, witches, werewolves, non-binary representation, LGBTQ plus relationship, teenage romance, mystery, it's extremely short and extremely entertaining. 
training, what else can you ask for? And yeah, it's not a very complicated story, it's beautiful, short and extremely cute, so if you like Heartstopper, you will definitely like this one. My next recommendation, and this time I actually have the book, is Red, White and Russia Blue by Casey Mac. Mackinston? And yeah, I've already mentioned a cute bubbly story, now I'm doing something a bit more complicated. I really like this book, it's actually one of my favorites and it's one of the books that actually got me into reading because I wasn't a reading person before. So basically we have our main character, Alex, who is the first son of the United States and Henry, the Prince of Wales. What? Gay romance? Yes. So basically these two hate each other, they can't stand one another. But after a very convenient and unfortunate turn of events. They are forced to spend some time together and they realize that they actually have no reason to hate each other. They share some interests, they have some things in common, this might be good. That's how they start talking and text here, phone call there, boom, they start liking each other. And well, things get a bit more complicated because with Alex's re-election campaign and Henry's homophobic family, they owe to keep their relationship a secret. And yeah, that's pretty much the story. I I won't spoil you anything else. So, we have LGBTQ plus representation, enemies to lovers, a cliche story, but it's a really good one, a true and beautiful love story. And yeah, I know this was like a TikTok sensation for a long time and some people love it, some people hate it, I personally love it, that's why I bought it. My next book recommendation for you will be What If It's Us by Becky Albert Tully and Adam Silvera? I'm not really good at pronunciation, I think you've figured that out already. Are you looking for a really funny book? And I'm talking about laughing out loud with a strangers to lovers story, easy to read, not so dramatic, this is the book for you. And I was lying with the not so dramatic. So this is a story about Arthur, who is one of our main characters. This book is narrated by two people. Arthur is in New York for the summer, he's working for his mom, a summer shop to put in in his university application and yeah his life seemed to be pretty normal he seems to be enjoying his summer in New York until one day one very good day when Arthur meets a really cute guy in the post office everything changes for him they had a really good conversation and they seem to get on well the thing is they were so distracted that they never exchanged any social media phone numbers even names he knows nothing about him it's like he never existed on the other hand we have the point of view of this strange guy called Ben and he was actually at the post office to return a box full of things that belonged to his ex-boyfriend so yeah he was not having the best time but after these two boys meet they just can't stop thinking about each other and that's how the search begins now the question is will they find each other and if they do will they be able to have things in common are they going to like each other will they be able to build a relationship or maybe just have a little bit of fun well, all of these questions will be answered in this book and actually there's already a sequel to it so I think you already know the answer to most of these questions. But anyway, this was a really good book too. The story was extremely nice, you will find yourself reading and reading without being able to stop. You have some little cute and cringy moments, the excitement of getting to know someone new and the sadness of knowing that you probably will never have a story like this. But if the cute girl that sat next to me today the boss is watching this my instagram is on the description of this video and you are more than welcome to the end me or something i will stop embarrassing myself before my last recommendation i want to do a special mention to one last stop by casey mckinston mckinston well you already know the same author of red white and russia blue also very popular on tiktok this sapphic book has everything you have time traveling mystery lgbtq plus representation and speaking of which shout out to my favorite character of the book nico my beloved medium and psychic i just love him so much this book was really good so if you want me to talk about it let me know and i will make a video and my next mention will be to pumpkin head by Rainbow Rowell. It was a gift from my sister and I really like this book. It's a really cute story, it has amazing art, overall it's a cute friends to lovers story, it has some sprinkles of LGBTQ plus representation, but if you like Heartstopper I think this is a great graphic novel to read. You can finish it in less than one day too. Yeah that's it. And now what all of you were waiting for, I present to you my favorite book. I wish you all the best. Bye Mason. 
Beaver. I love this book so, so much that I won't explain it myself because I'm afraid to spoil it and I do want you to read it. If you haven't read it, go and read it because it is amazing. So yeah, I will be reading what Woodreads says about it. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Sorry. So. When Ben de Becker comes out to their parents as non-binary, they are thrown out of their house and forced to move in with their stranger older sister, Hannah, and her husband, Thomas, whom Ben has never even met. Ben and Hannah haven't talked in about 10 years. Now, struggling with anxiety disorder compounded by their parents' rejection, they come out only to Hannah, Thomas, and their therapist, and try to keep a low profile in a new school. But Ben's attempt to survive the last half of senior year unnoticed are thwarted. Fuck. Are not going well when Nathan Allen, a funny charismatic student, decides to take Ben under his wig. As Ben and Nathan's friendship grows, their feelings for each other begin to change. And what started as a disastrous turn of event looks like it might just be a chance to start a happier new life. Now, tell me you don't want to read this book after listening to what I just read. So first, non-binary main character. That's a freaking win for me. It was so relatable. I actually don't have a single problem with this book. The story was so beautiful, so heartwarming. It was well written, nothing was forced. We can see the slow process of someone trying to put their life together while dealing with things like being constantly misgendered, family issues, mental health problems, and so much more. I I don't want to say anything else because I don't want to get you any more spoilers that I probably already did. And if you like Heartstopper, I think you will definitely like this book. So yeah, I think that's all for today. I had quite a good time recommending new books. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you want, if you are interested, if you care, you can follow me on my social media. I have a TikTok and an Instagram. Am I active on social media? No, but I could be. Next week, I will probably most definitely be uploading, finally, my opinion about Radio Silence. So if you want to hear about that, make sure to check it out. And yeah, I'll see you around, probably next week.